In this video, we will work on a past year term test problem on optimization. At this moment, you may want to pause the video to read the question. Roughly, the question asks to A. Prove the expression for L and B. Find the shortest possible L. First, let's look at what is given by looking at the figure. We can add some more information to the figure. For example, since this triangle is folded up here, this length is x. This length is 20 minus x. And this length by Pythagoras' theorem, since this is a right-angled triangle, the square root of L squared minus X squared. The question gives a hint. Use trigonometry to express theta in terms of X and L. When we deal with problems like this, some amount of experimenting is necessary. It may take a few tries to get the right connection. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it immediately. It may also be a good idea to work on part B first and revert to part A again if time is an issue. Notice that in this triangle, cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side x over the hypotenuse, which is L. We need another equation that relates cosine theta, x, and l. In this triangle, note that the angle here is pi minus 2 theta. Since it's 180 degrees, or pi radians, minus theta minus theta. So we take cosine of this angle, we have cosine pi minus 2 theta equal the adjacent side which is 20 minus x divide the hypotenuse which is x. Recall the sum difference of two angles formula. In this second formula we have cosine alpha minus beta equals cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. So we can rewrite cosine pi minus 2 theta as this. Simplifying we get 0 and cosine pi as negative 1. Therefore the left hand side simplifies to negative cosine 2 theta equals 20 minus x over x. Now cosine 2 theta is 2 cosine square theta minus 1 by the double angle formula. Now we can replace cosine theta by x over L as before. Rewriting L squared as a subject, we get L squared equals 2x squared over 1 minus 20 minus x over x. Simplifying we get L equals the square root of this which simplifies to x power 3 over 2 square root of x minus 10 as required. We only take the positive square root since L is positive. An alternative method is to consider similar triangles. You can show that this angle is 2 theta minus pi over 2. It is also possible to show that in this triangle, this angle is also 2 theta minus pi over 2. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. By equating the ratios of the corresponding sides, we can find that 20 over square root L squared minus X squared 
since it is folded from this triangle, is equal to this side, which is x squared minus brackets 20 minus x bracket squared by Pythagoras theorem over x. By squaring both sides, we have picking L squared the subject, we get and finally taking square root and the positive square root since L is positive we have which simplifies to x to the power 3 over 2 divided by square root x minus 10 as required we have done part A let's do part B now we can simplify the problem of minimizing L to minimizing L squared which is a much easier problem to do first we find a critical point differentiate L squared this gives by the quotient rule the critical point is found when the first derivative is set to zero We have x is 0, which is rejected, since x must be positive, or 15. Next, we use the second derivative to test the point. The second derivative can be found by quotient rule again. If we substitute x equals 15 into the second derivative, we found that this is positive. So this is the shape of the curve around the critical point. We have a relative minimum point. So by the second derivative test, L square is minimum, or in other words, L is minimum when x equals to 15. This minimum L found by substituting x equals 15 into the original L expression. This gives 15 times square root 3 or approximately 26 cm. We can also use the first derivative test. To get the same conclusion, we make a table and consider what happens on the left of x equals 15, which is x less than 15, and on the right, which is x greater than 15. We observe the sign for d dx of l squared. Consider the expression for d dx of l squared. When x is less than 15, the first derivative is negative. When x equals 15, the first derivative is 0. When x is greater than 15, the first derivative is positive. Therefore, around the point x equals 15, to the left, it has negative gradient, and to the right, it has positive gradient. Therefore, we can see that it takes the form of this shape which gives a minimum. So we conclude by the first derivative test that L squared is minimum or L is minimum when X is 15 and find the minimum L in the same manner.